So last week on our uh, live show, which we do uh, Thursday nights, most Thursday nights, most Thursday. on twitch.tv slash about beverages, uh, we recorded a podcast uh, based on a article that I found. Correct. Uh, it was from a uh, website, Uproxx. They had uh, red, red blends from Trader Joe's, like good value kind of things. We tried one from that, The Gambler's Flash. You can look for that podcast as well up on YouTube for the archive on that. Uh, and uh, we were finishing up and you looked at me and said like, you want to do another one of those? Do another? Why not? And what did I say? You said, of course. So that's what we have. We've got <laughs> another red wine from that list for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Oxti, the Silence Red Blend from Spain. Uh, this blend has uh, Tempranillo, Syrah, Garnacha, and Cab. Uh, and that's where we try. That's where we try. Okay. <clears throat> this one uh, comes in. It's uh, this one's a little more alcohol than the one we had right. last week. It's fourteen and a half percent. So right. we went up there a little bit. But now, based on the article, it says it was about a dollar less. Is that correct? This is six dollars. This is no. This one actually for us is still six ninety nine. Okay. Yeah. So then, yeah, there the are one... different pricings in California. Uh, the the gambler's flash is six ninety nine. Also. Okay. So uh, the same price for both of these. Then. Some in Arizona. Some wines in California actually are l- priced lower. Oh, okay. Than they are in Arizona. There, there's some weird licensing stuff that I'm not even going to pretend to try to understand. Gotcha. But I know I've gone to California and shopped at certain stores, and not only do they have uh, different things than our store, they some of the things that are similar are less, uh, cost less. So well, at least it, for us here, seven bucks. And is that where you just load up then like crazy? You're like, oh my god. <laughs> You could save that extra buck. This dip is 50 cents cheaper here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like I said, the article was, was very interesting. Uh, not everything that was in there was stuff that uh, was available at our, at least Southern Arizona local Trader Joe's store. Uh, but uh, a few of the ones that I went for specifically were ones that you had not had. Right. Yeah, there was only that one. Was, that was kind of one of the prerequisites where yeah. I was like, as you're like, well, I've had, I was like, well, I don't want to, I'd like having ones that you have not had so that you can. Yeah, no, I was glad to, I was actually glad because these are, uh, I have seen people buy this by the case. I mean, we don't sell, it doesn't sell like Charles Shaw or something like that, but I've seen people buy this by the case. And the one we did last week, I haven't seen sell very much at all. So I was very okay. intrigued uh, just in, just in general to, to, to try something new. And like I said, still being so being in the mood for red wine, so that's yeah. a good thing. Mm-hmm. I do like that this one has designations of what the blend is in there. It yeah. actually has all the breakdowns on it. Again, you can go to the website and check that kind of stuff out. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, depending on the... Now, I don't think this has a vintage designation, does it? Not that... Uh, uh, maybe... It may on the back if you look at the Possibly 2019, I'm seeing here on the <laughs> website on the article that I was looking at right there. Um, ba, 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 ba. I'm not seeing it right off the top uh, on here. A vintage designation but there could be one if there is or you've had one of these let us know in the comments happy to always get more information Need um, info. all right what do you think uh color wise there nothing nothing out of the ordinary that i would well, expect it's, it's it seems of, like the color is where it should be yeah on the darker side I see a little bit at the bottom of the glass but uh but overall but it's not not light by any means I no would say. no yeah. which i would hope not from, purpley red right from yeah. the, like i said from the grapes that you talked about that were yeah. in there It's a mix of a lot of fruit in there. Yeah, I'm getting the cherry kind of again is coming out. Like I know we just talked about that with the Gambler's Flash, but I'm getting the cherry kind of hitting again. Um, But it also is kind of, uh, there's a tartness in there that I don't quite know exactly what that is. Maybe blackberry. And also the alcohol seems to be hitting me a little. Like it seems like there's definitely... And we did just open this fairly recently, so maybe this needs a little time to open up, but that should be, uh, hopefully by the time we go back in for the second sip, we'll be good, but... I'm not. I'm not getting the alcohol as much. I'm just getting okay. like this nice kind of blend of fruit uh, mm-hmm. with with that cherry with some black raspberry. Yeah, yeah, with the black raspberry. But, it's a good but call. Just basically, fruit. Mm-hmm. It smells really. I mean, it's, yeah. it smells nice. Like there's nothing. Yeah. There's no. What, what do we always say? No faults to it. No faults. No faults to it. All right. Let's check out the taste. I would say it seems a little on the drier side. Uh huh. Um, still getting the fruit that you talked about there. Kind of like a little mellow. Like nothing, nothing's really like, oh, I'm getting bursts of it. Like it's just yeah. a very just gentle wave of the same thing we kind of got in the aroma. It's a blend of like I said, the yeah. blackberry, some cherry, um, maybe a little bit of sweet. There's a little tart toward the back, but I, like kind of the front and the middle of my tongue is very dry. Yeah. I, it's funny. I didn't get that at first. Tannic. I don't know. It's probably like a tannic thing. Like I said, it's probably Yeah, that. But there's a, there's also, there's a little bit of like a spice. It's not quite black pepper, but it's something okay. in that 
area for me, but it's all, like you said, it's very mild. Mild might not be doing it quite enough justice. There's some, there's some good flavor there, but yes. it's not distinct, necessarily distinct in any way. It's just, it's just a very nice, easy drinking, uh, I would say red wine. That's, I mean, yeah. that will hold up to some food, I think is also a good drinker definitely. by itself. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, it definitely speak because of the dry. I think some food would, would definitely be, it would be better with that. It's pretty dry. Yeah. I don't think I would enjoy this. Like I said, if yeah, there was it not like a, yeah, I mean, the classic cheeses, some sort of charcuterie board, like something like that. You need something else to kind of help out with that a little bit because right. it, it's a little bit drier than something I would just want to like open up and sit there and, and sip away at. Yeah. Like you did say earlier, we just opened it. Yep. So sometimes some of that can kind of, you know, work its way out some, somewhat. Yeah. Um, but it also you might know, open up a little of, bit more because of the varietals in there could be a little more of that. I, the it's weird though like i'm not getting like like the back of my throat like i'm not getting like it's not dry or anything back there it's no. very much the front of my middle of my tongue. tongue yeah yep which is very interesting not the same wines same price point same article of the two that we have had yes would you take the gambler's flash or would you take this one i think or is I... this a keith i would try another one <laughs> like they were both like no good. no i actually like them both um and i if i was talking with a customer at the store I would actually. Hey, what do you think? Could of these? actually, yeah, recommend them um, if they were choosing between. I think I like this one better. Okay. Um, it's a. I I think that dry, some of that dryness is going to go away. Um, I would agree with that. And uh, and and overall, I just I kind of just like it's. I like that that little bit. There's a little bit of spice, a little bit of like a, a seasoning spice of some sort in there. That's just kind of adding a little, probably adding a little bit to the dryness as well. But okay. Uh, where do you fall on that? I think I would fall the opposite. I think that yeah. I like the one last week, even though when I had it the second day, it, I didn't like it quite as much. But right. on first opening, like I said, it being a little bit less dry. And then I liked a little bit more of the pop of like the big kind of cher like tart cherry kind of yeah. came through. And then there was a little bit of smoke in that other one. Not a lot, but there was a little bit of kind of like barbecue kind of smoke in that one that I yeah. liked. But I think I, I know I think they're they're both good. I would I would probably pick pick that one but again like i said it depends on you know what yeah. you're eating or what else you're doing but right. but yeah both i think both good options especially you know you're talking seven bucks seven or bucks. whatever you know both yep. uh worth uh giving a try uh and if you're interested in any of the other wines that we may have had over the last decade if they're still available i don't know vintages and whatnot they probably change <laughs> i'm sure um, they've changed we might yeah but if know. we have reviewed it it would be at our website about beverages.com uh if you want only the latest videos you can always subscribe on youtube we would greatly appreciate that give that a look leave a comment on uh, on this review what kind of wines have you been drinking like what are your like go-to like daily drinker kind of things like it's always easy to pick you know the like oh here's my good 40 dollars. like here's you know, like yeah i can right. pick you an expensive bottle of wine it's gonna be delicious you know what are your good daily drinkers that are maybe value where you get the most flavor and bang for your buck uh, is kind of like what we uh, enjoy discussing uh, at least here on the channel uh, if you only want audio we've got you covered there too spotify uh, Google Podcast. Uh, you can obviously go to you know iTunes and look at their podcast services. If there is a podcast service you like using, search for About Beverages, and you will more than well, more than likely, you will find us. You will, as well as social media things. The social media things that we uh, well sometimes or maybe always call the three pillars of social media, which are Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is the one that we use most frequently. In fact, I tweeted just a little bit ago. To Son let, of a gun, you did. I know. I was letting people know we were going live on twitch.tv slash about beverages, which is what we do most Thursday nights if you're in the United, United States. And uh, we found out Friday afternoons if you're in Australia. <laughs> That's true. Well, there we you found go. that out. Uh, uh, but we do that uh, most weeks uh, at that time. And um, well, like I so said, we'll let you know um, when we're going to be doing that. And uh, you can join us for the conversation and try something along with us or just uh like i said we talk about things besides beverages we talk about sports we talk about music we talk about food all kinds of things and uh, also andrew's going to let you know throughout the week what he is going to be doing what he's going to be playing and uh at what time that's going to be happening so we'll keep you updated on on twitter but as we always say whether we like it or not even if the vintages have changed you should still give it a shot